Okay, it has been 60 days. I've cold stratified my seeds. I check on them constantly throughout the 60 days. I got a little lax towards the end of it. So a few weeks ago I looked in and I noticed that there's mold. So I quickly changed out the bag. I did not wash out, wash the seeds, so I probably should have. So this is them. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the bowl so I can soak them overnight. I've been doing some research and one of the sites from sfgate.com recommended pouring boiling water over the seeds. And while I understand the logic behind it to um, help soften the shells, I just don't like it. So I boiled water, but I've let it cool to a nice, uh, fairly warm, but not boiling hot. I can put it on my counter without any issue. The other thing I've discovered, as I was looking over my bag, I accidentally left a seed in the bag. So this one has not been cold stratified. So I'm gonna kind of do an experiment and put in its own bowl do the same process and see how well this process works. How much of a difference did the cold stratification make? So I have my water. I'm gonna pour it on top. Like I said, it's still a little warm because I just did it about 90 minutes ago. So you can already see that I have quite a few floaters, a couple sinkers, pouring a little bit more water. And then for the same one here, to pour it in and it is already floating so we'll see tomorrow how it goes let's pour the rest of the water in here and there and now i'll put these somewhere out of the way and then we'll check back tomorrow okay it's been about 24 hours and as you can see, I definitely have some floaters. Throughout the day today, I've come up and just checked on them and doing as I'm doing now, just poking them down, trying to make sure they all stay wet. Here is my experimental one. Um, it has not sunk, which I kind of expected. So now um, I'm gonna take them to my little garden area and I'll lay them out and start um, getting them ready to be dried, basically. Okay, so I've taken the seeds out. I scooped the floaters out by hand. I have watched previous videos where the people just dump the seeds into a colander and not really separating which ones sunk and which ones floated. So that's these ones here. These are the floaters as denoted by the yellow lego brick the one in the middle here is my test one where i just want to see what was going to happen and then this pile here this line here as denoted by the red lego brick is the ones are the ones that sunk one of the things i did as well was i went over these seeds and cleaned off any of the mold that was growing on them and and inspected some of them as you can see, it looks like there's a crack developing on one, and many of them I noticed were. Although the blogs and the videos say to only plant the ones that sink, I'm still going to try all of them because I want to make sure I get a good crop. Um, the next part of the process is letting them dry out for a couple of days and not dry out completely. I do have my water bottle here that I boiled water to sterilize. I did that mostly because the water in my area isn't the greatest. It has a lot of sulfur in it, so I wanted to make sure that it didn't cause any issues for the, the seeds. So I will be spraying them periodically. I'll give them a good spritzing now because some of them are quite dry. And I'll do this every few hours or so 
again just to make sure that they stay moist that they don't get too dry and then also i'm gonna have these lights on as soon as i can find the button and then I'll use natural light for now. And then I might move them closer when I'm done with the video. Just to make sure that they get plenty of light. And then in a few days, I will plant them. I have these lovely containers, little greenhouses actually, where I'll plant them, um, obviously with the soil. And then just leave them here for a few months and watering them about weekly. So, yeah, that's the plan for now. Okay, it's the next day. And every few hours, I will be spritzing my seeds. And then also rotating them as necessary to inspect them. And see if any cracks are developing. And I'll do this every few hours give or take I want to make sure every side gets a little bit of water so it's completely soaked well spritzed and then yeah hopefully in a day or two I'll be ready to plant okay we're on our second day of spritzing once I woke up this morning I gave him a good spritzing so far I'm not seeing any change in the seeds so I'm going to keep on moving along so spritzing spritzing and then hopefully soon I'll, like I've been saying I'll be able to plant so it's been a couple of weeks I've been spraying about three times a day. However, as the weather's been changing, cats have been getting into the house and now I don't know what seeds are which. So there goes my plans, but I'm still gonna go ahead and plant them. I've not seen any changes as far as like cracks developing, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a go now. Hopefully something takes. Okay, so I'm outside with my dirt, my soil. I looked up the best kind and they suggested a mix of like a loam on the bottom and some soil with, that's a little acidic. So this is the best I found. I'm omitting the loam because I'm not gonna pack it in very much. So basically what I'm gonna do is just fill these up maybe about halfway oops halfway then i'm going to plant the seed water it and then every saturday i'm going to water it as as needed i'll check it out throughout the week okay so i fill them up although my seeds do not have cracks i'm going to try to find what was the best part that looks like a crack may have developed and I'm going to plant them vertical, if I remember correctly. That is the way to plant them. So this one kind of looks like it has a crack going on. So I'm going to plant that just like that. Same thing for all of them. Hmm. And then, yeah. All right, got them all in. And now I'm going to cover them up. And like I said, I'm not going to pack them very tightly. In fact, I'm just going to leave it loose. And then, yeah, I'm going to take them inside, get the light on them, water them. And then, like I said a moment ago, I'll just water them about once a week. And just check on them throughout. All right, I got them inside. Off camera, I planted the other seeds so I could just show one because it's a repetitive process. I have my water bottle here 
I had to change my water throughout the week because a blog I spread suggested using um, um, a chemical to the water to help uh, help the seeds break down a little bit more. My mind's blanking on it, of course. But now I'm just gonna get my seeds soaked. Again, I don't want it too, too wet, but I want it to be moist. I already have my lights on. I removed the towel, which is one of the reasons why the cats were coming in. Sometimes having a dog is not the best idea with the dog door not being locked at night. But it is what it is. And now I got it all washed. Now I'm gonna add the little lids that help trap the moisture. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it most of the way closed. Still let some air in and out of course, but for the most part I want it to be as warm as possible. Probably at night, I'll grab that towel I had after I wash it and wrap around it so it maintains some extra warmth throughout the night. All right, and there we go.